Dave, congratulations. National League title winners. How does that feel? Feels great. Um, and we'll feel great for an awful long time. Um, and then we'll we'll look forward. I'm going to enjoy tonight and the next couple of nights with the players. They've been absolutely fantastic. Um, and we've achieved the ultimate for us this season. Um, and uh, I can't be any more proud of it. You'd have that little blip, but you finished this season so strongly. In today's game, you were in control from start to finish. Yeah, we were. Listen, people will say it's, it, it, it's a blip. It, winning football matches is tough at any level. It makes, it makes no difference. And, and you look at um, the end of the season especially, brings different challenges. Because um, with, without it sounding the wrong way, it's almost easier to win after five games than it is with two games to go, because you've got... 30, 40 games to get it right. Whereas at the back end, when you're looking for a win to get you over the line, I've said before, human beings are strange, strange creatures, and um, doubt will creep in. Um, but we, today and, and Wednesday, we needed to. If we were going to achieve, not achieve, we needed to go and achieve, not achieve, based on us and based on what we are. Mm. And I think what we, we've brought and what we've tried to do is bring an identity that the football team has on the pitch. And that identity, identity was seen on Wednesday um, in a convincing performance, and we're seeing it again today. And regardless of what, what, what went on elsewhere, we needed to control, control us. That's why we played in the manner that we did. The early goal always helps, um, but I thought from that point on, we controlled the, the game really, really well. Big games need big players, and of course, Paddy steps up with that early goal. Will Collar in the second half, Ash Palmer was immense at the back. They've all contributed today. Everyone's contributed throughout the course of the season. Um, some will feel they've contributed a little less than others, but it makes no difference. The, the, the game now is a, is a squad game. We've um, had. I don't know how many players, um, but whether it's out here on a Saturday afternoon or a Tuesday evening or at Carrington Monday to Friday from 9 to whatever time work we come out, everyone contributes and plays, plays their part um, and now they can all um, celebrate and have on their CV that they're National League champions, which is something no one can take away from them. And of course the fans again today, it was a, a record gate here for the all-seater stadium. They played their part massively today. The show of support before the game as well, terrific. Yeah, outstanding. Um, and and the, they deserve to celebrate, and hopefully we'll have another opportunity to celebrate with them tomorrow. Um, there was obviously people on, and, and we'll, I'm, I'm happy to take pictures and get pictures of every single person because I know what it means. That never, that will never be lost on me. Um, and they have. I suppose got a belief in what, what, what we're trying to do and for us to be able to instill some well that belief and some optimism and, and look where the club's going. The club has a, a clear identity, a clear plan off the pitch of and, and Mark's pivotal to that in terms of where he wants to take it. A hard bit of football is to control what happens on this, this green bit here. Um, and thankfully we've allowed ourselves to take one step closer to where we want to be. But a football league team, these supporters deserve a football league team, this town deserves to have a football league team um, in its um, in, in itself, if you like, um, and we're, we're going to enjoy that. And I've no doubt the, the record crowd that we're in here will doubtly be looking forward to a, a fixture release and the first game back in the football league in this club, which he deserves it. Your old pal Colin Woodcorp's here today. I've just been chatting to him. Of course, great success with Colin Bay promotions with them, with Fylde as well, with with Colin. All the promotions that you have now, Dave. You're a serial promotion winner. Where does this one sit? <laughs> it's 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 right at the top because yeah. it's the it's the most the most the most recent one. Like I say you never get sick of winning. Um, as much as football can be hugely emotional and up and down, um, gaining promotions and, and, and winning trophies is is something I'll never never ever take for granted. Uh, this is is special. Uh, I suppose from the turnaround when I when I came in, um, people would have said that it wasn't possible and, and probably me coming into it I knew I knew we had a chance of getting promoted I'll be honest I, I thought the best chance we had of getting promoted was probably through the playoffs um, but the players have bought into absolutely everything we've asked of them and we deserve to be deserve to be champions and that's something that um, I'll say to them when I get to speak to them and I've not had the opportunity yet um, and, and really uh, reflect on in a hugely hugely positive way 
this this league now has, uh, I suppose, had everything for me in terms of lost a promotion final, won a promotion final, uh, and finally I'll get out of it as a, as a champion. What do you think it means to that man, to Mark Stott, who's uh, just come behind you with his glass of red wine? What do you think it means to him? <laughs> I, I know it means everything um, because I, I see the. From, from the outside, if you like, the work, the effort, the investment has been made made in this football club. Um, and we all are believing of, of the journey that he wants to take this football club on. So it, mean, it means everything. Um, I'm, like I say, massively appreciative that, um, that this football club saw me as the one that felt that could be successful for them in, the, in this part. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm delighted that I've delivered on that and been able to give not just him and, and all, the, all the people that are involved in the work that was done, blood, sweat and tears that went on before I came to the club. And there's a lot of people involved in that without wanting to name individuals and say, say different things. There's huge amounts of effort, effort gone in. Um, thankfully, we're the, the group that have got them over the line and, 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 and he'll, be, um, he'll be hugely, hugely proud, um, hugely drunk, hopefully, later. <laughs> but straight away refocused on what we have to do next season. Well, that's it. You, you'll get the opportunity, obviously, this week now to enjoy that. You get yourself a holiday in Cape, hopefully, as well. But um, it is the biggest day in county's history. It's the biggest title win they've ever had back in the Football League of this, this 11-year exile. But already, because football is in that nature, you're already thinking about League Two, presumably. Do you allow yourself to get carried away with that now? Um, again, I think experience allows you to do that better. Um, time certainly now allows you to do that better. I know finishing on the, the 20th of June last year yeah. and with the players being back in two weeks later wasn't it wasn't great uh, in terms of a turnaround, in terms of how you can prepare and what you need to do. We've got a little bit of time, um, so we've already planned pre-season and everything's in place. We're looking at um, players being back. Sort of, um, back, end of, back, back end of back end of June yeah. with the football league campaign kicking off on the 30th of July. So there's already things in place. Um, like I say, I want to I want to enjoy tonight and tomorrow with the players. Um, there's, uh, it then becomes the horrible bit, the the reality of where we are, the, the conversations with with players who are in contract, out of contract, all them all them bits that are the, not the enjoyable part of football. The one thing I can say though is that uh, say every every single player that's been with us this year. Um, whether they're on that journey with us next year or not, go out as on a huge high, and we'll be remembered in the in the football obviously for this football club that's taken them back to the back to the football. Club. On behalf of every single county fan, can I just say, Dave Challoner, cheers, thank you. Thanks, John. Bless you. Thanks, mate. <laughs>